All right, so we're gonna go shoot a dude now. Let me show you who this guy is over here. Q type. <laughs> you wanna see real abs? Hold on. Yeah, I'm just kidding. No, no, I don't <laughs> wanna shock y'all because it looks so delicious. We're gonna do some standing shots away from the mirror. So let's have you out here. Andrew has shot a ton. He's actually a really well-known fitness model in the Denver area, international. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he takes a lot of Photoshop, but once the retoucher fixes all that stuff right there, he looks quite decent. I'm gonna show you some short side lighting. A lot of times when uh, a new model is ready to shoot or a client, someone that's never done a shoot before, a lot of times they will say, okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with my hands. Uh, my first time shooting, what should I do? First thing that you do is you tell them, calmate, Spanish for relax, chill. Don't worry, don't sweat it, I got you. That's how I say I, I've got it under control. You tell them, I got it, don't worry. That's when you can compliment a little bit to get them to relax. Good, relax, chillax, man, take it easy, you're okay. Yeah? No, physique, great job, man, abs look great. Let me see, flex. Good, tight. I want you to focus on the core right there and focus on the obliques a little bit. There, perfect, just like that, perfect. Deep breath in, exhale, more, tight. There, so keep that in mind on your core, okay? Hands on your hips. I don't want you to over pose here, just pretend that you're tired. There you go, good. With your hand here on your hip, pretend that you're trying to push against. All right, so when you do that, tricep pops, your shoulders pop. So even though your hand's here, pretend you're trying to lift it off. Okay? Good. Perfect. Turn your face more to you. There you go. There you go. All right, so I just showed you what the shot looked like if you took the shot from the broad side. And as you can tell, it's just boring. There's no drama to it. There's no, uh, it's just a, I mean, you can see his physique, but it's, it's like a natural light shot. To me, it just has no pop to it. So that's why I'm not a big fan of having that front side. Um, physique, it pops when you add the shadows from the, the camera side, when you use the, the short side lighting, it adds a lot more depth to the image. And so if you shoot a male, it's good for a guy because you don't need to light up a lot of the face. If you're shooting Dara, the lighting would be a little bit more dramatic. Um, some people want to make sure that they can still see this. With him, it, it, it doesn't matter. Seeing this, uh huh. See, six packs are just for show, they're not real muscles. 105 chest to bar, so the grip's a little, a little strained. All right, so the two lights set up sandwich lighting one on the left, one on the right. The one on the camera right was for the abs, You're using a strip box that is to give a little bit of accent into the upper area, and then the one on camera left is more for his face and his chest. That's gonna be above his head. Going down. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go to look number two. lights there. I've got one light over here to act as a fill. Also to make sure that uh, this side of his muscles lit up just a little bit. In the back, a bare bulb for a rim. Then we have the octo on this side lighting up the short side again. It's going to help accentuate the core. All right, that's enough of this dude for this set. He's done. Uh, I thought he was going to have a lot more plates, so I apologize. This wasn't more like visually Impressive. I mean, who does it with only one one plate? I'll put some more on there. What do you want me to do with them? Ten plates. Ten plates. I think he could do it. Ten ten pound plates. All right, well. Sound like a ghost. Hold me, won't you hold me down? Hold me closer, kiss me harder, so I don't make a sound. Hi, right, chops. So we use three lights. We have a uh, one octo, short side lighting. One strip for the rim, but then we brought one light underneath. Normally I'd use a modifier, but I don't want to walk all the way over there to get it. 
<laughs> Lazy. That lighting works great if someone has a six pack. Doesn't work really so great if someone has a no pack. So something to keep in mind. Yeah. All right, here's a quick tip. So do you have friends that are photographers? Yes. I mean, I'm friends with the photographers I shot with, not the other way around. <laughs> I don't have a friend that is a photographer. Think of, um... Oh, wait, I do! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she just gets shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, cause he's a, he's a videographer, but he's now transitioning, so that's why it didn't, it didn't click. Okay, so this is the easiest way for you to find someone to shoot. Um, the videographer, yeah. who does not do photography yet, right? He, but he, he just started. But yeah. he's a friend. Yes. And so if he said, hey, I'm trying to get into photography, would you let me practice on you. Yes. Would you say yes? Yes. So tip number one. So when you're starting out, and if you want to try to get something to build your portfolio, your immediate circle is who you ask first. Yes. Because if I ask, if I have zero to show, but I ask my buddy Andrew, I'm like, hey Andrew, do you know anyone that would want to shoot? He's going to say, well, Brett, I know you, and you're a decent dude, so I would be okay asking my friend here, here, here to to offer up their time and volunteer and risk possibly getting crap back because if I don't know what I'm doing, but he's vouching for me. Mm -hmm. Anytime you have someone vouch for you that's not you, right. that's gonna increase your chances of having somebody else who doesn't know you, especially if you don't have anything to show, it increases your chance of them saying yes. That's Make sense? That's a very good idea. Yeah. So if you don't know her and you have nothing to show, you can ask her. But if you're going to ask, what I recommend is say this. Hi, I love your look. I'm getting into photography. I was wondering if you would like to collaborate. 99% of the time, they're going to say no. 98% of the time, they won't reply. That's just the way it is because you have nothing to show. But to start out, don't be scared to ask. Because if you find someone that you like their look, ask them. The worst they can say is no. Big deal. If they say no, Drop it, don't make a big deal out of it. Because acknowledge that they're mostly going to say no. And then as long as you know that, don't have an attitude. Because if you have nothing to show for it, they should say no to you. Or you need to pay them. Yeah. But I don't recommend paying models because once you pay them, then you always pay models. All right, y'all, uh, we're gonna do one last set. Um, and after that, um, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, where can they find you on social media? You find me? Hmm? You find me? Yeah. At Dara Nicole on Instagram. D A R A H N Y C O L E. <laughs> Do it again? Fast. D A R A H N Y C O L E. Can you do yours really fast? <laughs> Spelling it? Yeah. That's well, my yeah. name, so. A Leads Fitness, A L I E T Z F I T N E S S. Why do you have to look up twice? Because I have to think about it. You have to spell it. Like, see the word fitness and yeah. then spell it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's going to conclude this video. Hopefully, you got a few tips. The main thing is for you to see how lighting goes and with the model interaction. Yes. When you're talking to somebody, the big thing is keep it professional, keep it hunted. Hunt it. Yeah. Mm. As long as you keep it on a professional level, yeah. then you, you run into a less chance of there being awkward moments. And the thing is, I'm a huge fan of you not being perceived as a creeper, because once you get that title, it's hard Stay to shake it off. You. So, <laughs> recap. Don't over compliment the models. No. You did all right. Yeah. For someone that doesn't look very good. Ooh. Okay, well don't say that. <laughs> Actually, she did amazing. As much as I like to joke around, she did great. So I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, thank you. I nah, appreciate you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, she did good. Uh, she's got an amazing physique. She's doing huge things in the fitness industry. So if you like fitness and all things, muscles, keep an uh, eye on her. She's gonna do big, big things this year. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was like me being nice. Yeah. Um, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Andrew did really well. He's a he's actually an amazing model. So if any of you are in Denver and you don't have a lot of work but you want to practice, um, I can vouch for him. He's actually really good. Um, but he's worth some money. <laughs> Thanks. <That's become> <laughs> I, don't know like I don't know what's going on with me. Why am I saying all these nice things? I don't like this shit. Mm -hmm. I need to go eat some salad. Peace out. Yeah, right. Pizza.